If you want to install a custom room but need stock experience, then this custom room is for you. The name is Proton Plus, based on Android 13. This is what we have. Unfortunately, it's only available for only few of the devices yet while making this video. But whenever it will be updated for your device, whenever it will be available for your device, I'll make sure to provide you the link. And the link is already available in the description on my website. Make sure to check out that. The custom room which I'm talking about here in this video is Proton Plus. It's based on Proton AOSP. If you have ever heard about that custom room actually this room is available as a stock experience but alongside with that this is just super smooth yes i tried this custom room and i'm using from past two days right now it's just super smooth it's just blazing fast i tried a lot of things in this one i found this room is quite useful as it is a stock one so don't expect much features but some of the things for example some of the useful things like Wi-Fi and mobile data separate tiles options are available. If you don't want to use that internet tile, you can use Wi-Fi and mobile data. By the way, if you're looking for this theme, don't worry, it's not the stock one. You can get this theme by installing Project Themer on your device. Don't ask me for the link though, that is already available on Google Play Store. Of course, it's paid. Volume panel also have some tweaks. For example, if you're able to notice, whenever we switch between the ring and ring and vibration and mute, by default, you have that these options available at the top, but right now in this one we have at bottom also the ui is a bit changed compared to the normal stock one so yes some tweaks available here and there one more thing which i found here is in the lock screen customizations which means we have a double tap to sleep option available which might be useful for some of the users if you want to use this thing you can how this is working whenever you are on lock screen you can simply double tap to make it to give you get your device to sleep mode and yes this also quite useful in some cases as i just mentioned it's all about users own opinion users own preference if you want to use this thing or not if you like this thing you can or if you don't want to you can simply skip this thing one more thing which i found here is this google search bar unfortunately in some of the custom home these features were not present like you have this google search option which is basically a unified search maybe like this is a device search and google search both of these search things in only one single search bar that's why it's considered as unified search bar which is available in this default launcher without having any tweaks so that's good you don't need to tweak anything you don't need to apply any more to activate this thing this is by default available so this is one of the positive things about this one another interesting things what i found here is i mean all the useful features are already included in gestures for example swipe to screenshot which is actually super useful and if this feature is not available i don't think so using that custom home is that worth yes you can get that feature uh, alongside with many other extra tweaks but by default if it is available it's good you also have the option to hide the navigation bar pill and keyboard space but right now in my case i have installed a magisk module called small keyboard navbar which is better than this one so i don't need this thing we also have the advanced restart option available which is quite healthy in some cases especially whenever you want to boot into custom recovery or in bootloader mode you need advanced restart menu and that's already present we also have the double tap to sleep on status bar and yes this also works quite good whenever you double tap on your status bar it will put your device into sleep it looks quite good and other than else yes we also have some tweaks related to battery not talking about the battery backup uh, if i move on to battery usage options if you're able to notice we have the battery usage from the last full charge instead of the last 24 hours like in pixel devices we have the option to see the battery usage from the past 24 hours which actually um, compared to this one it's not good we have the option for view the battery user from the last full charge this makes some sense but if you compare it with that one unfortunately it's not good other than else yes it is a stock one and if you want to apply any modules or any kind of tweaks here are working just perfectly fine i installed magisk which is the latest version i'm talking about in this video is 25.2 i installed some modules as you can see usb modes we have the project themer we have the magic guide props config to pass safety net status because safeness status i mean passing safeness status um is little bit difficult honestly if you are a normal user and are not into these things you might feel difficult to pass safeness status but guess once you pass safeness status this room is just super smooth you must give it a try i also tried
tried repainter and repainter was working perfectly fine unfortunately the integration is not by default to apply these things on a device you need to root your device and yes this is not a big deal installing matches from custom recovery and installing some modules to customize your device like a pro yes options are quite good and these were things i just want to let you know let me show you once that safety status in my case having no issues yes you need to apply some methods to pass safety status but other than else things are quite good link is already available in the description and these were things i just want to let you know i hope you like this video thanks for watching and i will see you next video goodbye